what is good y'all we are back with another one we're playing doki doki once again this creepy ass game so let's try to do it all right so you know we already saw the fucking letters obviously we're going for yuri once again we're just gonna do everything we know that yuri would like that i can remember what's that shit all right back to it whoa what the fuck wow okay I don't even know what she'd like at this point. All I know is I want to get past this shit because I don't know what the fuck's going to happen. Shit. I guess when there's 21s. Let's see. We don't get fucking... Oh my god. Jump scared. Shit. Starscape? Okay, we're done. Jesus, man. Weird eye. Hey, cut. I've been waiting for you. Yeah, of course you have. Are you ready to continue reading? Oh my goodness. I brought my best tea today. Monica. I told you not to. Ugh. Is she really late again? Inconsiderate as usual, Natsuki. Excuse me? <laughs> already? Must you always interrupt my conversation with your incessant yelling? Oh, um, already? Already? So like, hostile as fuck? Jesus. What are you talking about? You said like I do it on a regular basis or something. I just wasn't paying attention, okay? I'm sorry. Seriously, what's gotten into you lately? Me? Nothing. Yeah, right. Is it really that bad? See, it is something. I'll get over it. It's not even anything noteworthy. I've just been feeling a little on edge lately. Anyway, we don't need to talk about it. Well, I just felt like I needed to bring it up. It's not like I really care or anything. Aw, oh, man. I'm the last one here again. Well, Cud just walked in too. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. <laughs> you must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and still trying to make time for piano. Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. It motivates me to work hard for the festival and... Um... Right. I forgot. Uh, about that, Natsuki. We were all talking yesterday and... Well, we decided that we would like to support the festival as well. However, I understand how you feel about not wanting the club to change. I think we all kind of feel that way. So as long as we're all here working together, this club will never become something we don't want. Um, also, if you help us out with the festival, then I'll buy you a new manga. What? <laughs> Sorry, that last part was really funny. Look, I did some thinking about yesterday. I was a little more hostile than I meant to be. I guess I really felt threatened or something. But I know this is something we're doing together. Another new member won't hurt as long as they're cool. And I guess another girl will be nice this time. But more importantly, I would hate to see the event suck just because I chose to back out. I'm a pro, you know. So I'm going to help too, and we'll make sure it's done right. Thank goodness. <laughs> Isn't that great, Monica? Monica? Ah. Yeah, that's wonderful. What, just, what did she just do? It wouldn't be the same without you, Natsuki. Anyway, cuh. What do you want to do today? I was thinking we could... We already have plans today? Oh, this is going to get bad. I already see the trajectory. Ah. Is that so, Yuri? That's correct. Ka is already engaged in a novel that we're reading together. Aren't you glad I've already gotten him into literature, Monica? I... I suppose. I was just... Actually, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. You guys can do whatever the fuck you want. Yes. Oh, what? Oh, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Um, thank you for understanding, Monica. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Nah, not at all. Thanks very much. If there's one thing that can make my reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself as well. See, we already know what's gonna happen when she goes in that hallway. Or the... yeah. Yeah, you know what happened. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. I follow and watch as she receives a small water pitcher from the shelf, the kind with the filter inside. Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetches an electric kettle. I'm gonna plug this in at the teacher's desk and then I'll go get some water. He walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. Didn't I already see this part? I feel like I saw this already. I simply watch her movements. To my surprise, the way she moves really con contrasts her speaking mannerisms. Bro, I, s I read this already. I'm so confused. Okay, may I have the water pitcher? Thanks, I'll be right back. Uh, I might as well walk with you. That's okay. You stay here. I won't take long. Hold on. Let's just keep going. Like, I, I swear, I played this yesterday. I don't know what the fuck's happening. Picture in hand, Yuri hurries out of the classroom. Ah, did Yuri leave you again? 
Yeah, I saw this all already. Why did it... Like, why did it, like, backtrack like this? No, it's not like that this time. She's just filling up the water pitcher to make tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for misunderstanding. Ten minutes passed. Yep, we're gonna see her in the hallway. Yeah, we saw this. Oh! Never mind. I see what's going on here. Fuck. Alright. My bad, y'all. I did not know that was going to happen. I was about to just replay the same shit as yesterday. Like, I was about to get upset because that was like an hour. Uh, wait. How did I... Sorry, I just had a really weird deja vu. Shit, me too, nigga. Like, literally. This, ha this hasn't happened before or anything, right? My head has been a little fuzzy lately. I hope it hasn't really been showing or anything. I would hate for you to think I'm weird just after we started spending time together. Bro, it started too late. I mean... Everyone has a few unusual things about them. What is about to happen? But expressing those things so soon after meeting someone is usually seen as appropriate, inappropriate or unlikable. At least that's what I've discovered. When I was a bit younger, I think I would come on really strongly and get a little too intense. It made people not want to be around me. So I started hating those things about myself, my obsession with certain hobbies, and the way I can't control myself when I get too excited about something. So I eventually stopped trying to talk to people. If nobody could ever like me for the things that mattered most to me, then it's just easier if I close myself off. But recently something's been wrong. I don't know what it is, but every time we come to the club, my heart starts to go crazy. Like it's gonna rip out of my chest. It, she's about to do something crazy. It overwhelms me with energy and emotions that I can't let out. It's been making me do weird shit. I don't know why it's happening. Cuh? Oh, here we go. Is it just me or has Monica been acting a little off lately? You're right. She's always been a sweetheart ever since I joined the club. But recently, I've been feeling something sharp whenever she's around. Shit, me too. I don't trust her. I'm not crazy, right? Please tell me I'm not. Oh my goodness. Look at her. I couldn't say anything before because she's always listening. But finally, we're alone. Can we just stay here for a while? Yeah. What is about to happen? I just want to stay here. She's about to do that staring shit, isn't she? Just the two of us. We can stay here until the club ends. And then we'll have the club room all to ourselves. Nobody to interfere with our reading time. Look at Monica, you see her? Nobody to make me feel like stabbing myself in the throat. <laughs> that was a joke. Just a joke. I do knives though. I do like knives though. It sounds strange, but you wouldn't understand if you've never seen how beautiful they can be. I have an idea. Why don't you come to my house sometime? I can show you my collection. I've gotten them all from various artisans. I make sure to give them all their fair share of use. I don't want them to get lonely or anything. Nobody deserves to be lonely. Nobody. And that's why I'm so happy you joined the literature club, cuh. Now we don't need to be lonely anymore. Because we have each other. He is fucking batshit insane. Every day. That's all we need. You know what? Let's quit the literature club. There's no need for us to be around Monica's slimy tongue anymore. Oh my god. Not to mention that other pathetic child. We could walk home together every day after school. This game is fucking insane, bro. And read together, eat together, sleep together. Doesn't that sound perfect? Dude, if you Oh, if you're gonna kill me, that's that's I say no. It's everything we could ever want. Isn't that why you joined the club in the first place? It's almost like it was fate. Fate that would me fate that we would meet each other. And now we get the happy ending that I've patiently waited years for. Will you do that with me, cuh? Will <laughs> Okay, who should I show my poem to first? You see? Now nah, I'm gonna go Yuri. I was gonna do some fuck shit and go Monica, but you know. I don't wanna die. I'm already locked in. Finally. <laughs> Yuri holds my poem to her face and takes a deep breath. <laughs> what? I love it. I love everything about it. Cuh, I wanna take this home. Will you let me keep it? Please? Sure, I'm gonna go fuck. <laughs> You're too nice to me, cuh. I've never met anyone as nice as you. I could die. Not, not, not really, but I just don't know how to describe it. It's okay to be feeling this way, right? No, it's not bad, right? Your holds my poem to her chest. I'm gonna take this home with me and keep it in my room. Hope that it makes you feel good when you think about me having it. I'll take good care of it. I, how, I knew this was coming, but I just didn't know when it was gonna happen. <laughs> Goodness. I'll even touch myself while reading it over and over. Oh my sh fucking Jesus. It's getting wicked. I'll give myself paper cuts so your skin oil enters my bloodstream. 
That might be one of the craziest lines I've read in any horror game I've ever played in my life. I've never seen it get this crazy. <laughs> you can have my poem too. Besides, after you read it, I know you're really going to want to keep it. Here, take it. I can't wait any longer. Hurry, read it. It's going to be some fucking ins- Oh... What the fuck is- what's on this? I want to like genuinely decipher what this says, but it's going to be like- Looks like it's going to be nearly impossible. What the fuck? Dog, I can't decipher not one word. Is there piss on this thing? Like, hey, I can't even decipher what that shit says. Oh, she- Do you like it? Oh my god, once again. I wrote it for you. In case you couldn't tell, the poem was about- More importantly, I haven't doubted with my scent. That is- Don't tell me- Okay. See, aren't I the most thoughtful person in the club? I- I think I'm gonna vomit. Yeah. Get the fuck away from me. <laughs> what the- like, bro. Oh my god. I didn't know she was gonna be staring at me from behind that. Who should I show my poem to next? Monica. Yeah, okay. Monica, please. Don't say I didn't warn you, cuz. Holy shit. I mean, you definitely did, but I think I'm more scared of Monica than Yuri. Because Monica's like a fucking love crafting entity that can fucking break the fourth wall, bro. Alright, Natsuki. The only normal one left, somehow. What? You gave your poem to Yuri? Gross. What is with you two? Hmm. It's not like I wanted to read it anyway. You just told me it's ass. It's just pissing me off a little bit that you didn't even think to show me at all. Ugh. Okay, I guess I'm gonna share my poem with you anyway. I really hate that I have to do this, but unfortunately I don't have much of a choice. Just read it carefully, okay? And you can go away. Okay. See? Why is Natsuki a fucking legend? Like, I can already tell there's about to be some vital information. I don't know how else to bring this up, but there's been something I've been worried about. Yuri has been acting kind of strange lately. You've only been here a few days, so you may not know what I mean. But she's not normally like this. She's always been quiet and polite and attentive, things like that. Okay, this is really embarrassing, but I'm forcing myself to suck it up. The truth is, the truth is, I'm really worried about her. But if I try talking to her, she'll get just she'll just get mad at me again. I don't know what to do. I think you're the only person that should listen to. I don't know why, but please try to do something. Maybe you can convince her to talk to a therapist. Facts. I've always wanted to try being better friends with Yuri, and it really hurts me to see this happening. I know I'm gonna hate myself later for admitting that, but right now I don't give a fuck. I just feel so helpless. So please, if you can do something to help, I don't want anything bad to happen to her. I'll make you cupcakes if I have to. Okay, bro. Just please try to do something. As for Monica, I don't know why, but she's been really dismissive about this. It's like she just wants us to ignore it. So I'm mad at her right now, and that's why I'm coming to you about this. Don't let her know I wrote this. Just pretend like I gave you a really good poem, okay? I'm counting on you. Thanks for reading. Or thanks for reading. Wow. I fuck with Natsuki, but she's definitely about to die. Yep, I had the feeling. <laughs> I changed my mind. Ignore everything you just read. There's no point in trying to do anything. I'm This is Monica, obviously. Like, obviously. It's Yuri's own fault that she's so unlikable. Can you hear me, Ka? If you would just spend more time with Monica, all these problems would go away. <laughs> it's Monica. Yuri and I are too messed up for someone as wonderful as you. Just think of Monica from now on. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Oh my god, bro. Just Monica, okay. What the fuck? Just Monica? Yo, what is... What happens if I say no? <laughs> I'm saying no. Oh my god, this is obviously Yuri's. I can't convince myself to go to therapy when I'm the happiest I've ever been. I'd rather keep this up until I blow my cover and someone takes me to the emergency room. Holy shit. Alright, dude. <laughs> okay, everyone. It's time to figure out the festival preparations. Let's hurry and get this over with. Jeez. Why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Uh... Stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. Yeah. It's already- it's in the works. Look, can we just get this done? I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Natsuki and I was thinking, I want, oh, uh, I want to make cupcakes. Yeah, that. Glad we're on the same page. Yuri, you can, well, it doesn't matter. Do whatever you want as long as you think it'll help. Monica, I'm not useless, you know. 
I know that. I already know what I'd like to do. We can't run a successful poetry event without having the right atmosphere for the occasion. So I'm gonna make decorations and set up some nice mood lighting. There, see? That's a great idea. And that gives us all something to do. Eh? What about Ka? Ka's gonna help me. W wait, you? You have the easiest job, Monica. Sorry, but that's just how it is. Like hell it is. What are you trying to pull? I agree with Natsuki. Not only is your work already most suitable for one person, but my task is laborious enough to ben benefit from an extra pair of hands. Mine too. What, your cupcakes? Please. Like you would fucking know. All you care about is dragging Cub around with you and your stupid books. You and Monica. Hey. I didn't even do anything. <laughs> okay, then why not let Cub decide who to help instead of abusing your power? I'm not abusing my power. Yes, you are, Monica. Just let Cub make the choice, okay? Okay, fine. Fine. Jeez. Cub, I know how fed up you are with these two by now. We can just... Natsuki, shut your fucking mouth and let him decide for himself. You shut your mouth. Jesus Christ. This is never going to end. Just make the choice, okay? Oh, I can't save. Oh, shit. Oh, that means something bad's really gonna happen. <laughs> I can't save the game. Y'all know who I'm gonna choose, obviously. For a... <laughs> Fuck. I know I'm not safe. I'm not gonna... She's gonna kill me in my own house. I know this is gonna happen. I just have a feeling because she's insane. But I'm gonna go hear it. <laughs> oh, I can't. You see that? What? Surely not. Y'all. I'm not doing that. Look, it's... <laughs> Hold up, let me see if I can choose it. <laughs> oh my fucking god. This is so creepy, dude. Alright, bro. Yay, you picked me. We can meet at your house this weekend. I promise it'll be fun. Is Sunday okay with you? Are you fucking kidding me? This isn't fair at all. It is fair, Noski. It's what he shows. No, it's not fair. Giving us all this work and then taking cuff for yourself? What a shameful thing to do. Yuri, I didn't even give you any work. You decided it for yourself. You're being a little unreasonable here. Uh-oh. I'm being unreasonable? <laughs> Monica, I can't believe how delusional and self-important you are. Pulling cut away from me every single time you're not included in something. Are you jealous? Crazy? Or maybe you just hate yourself so much that you take it out on others. Here's a suggestion. Have you considered killing yourself? Oh my god. It will be beneficial to your mental health. You're, you're scaring me a little. Nazi, let's just go. Dude, she's fucking batshit. I don't think she wants us around right now. See, that wasn't very hard. All I want to do is spend a little time with him. Okay, bro. Is that so much to ask? Yuri follows Monica and Natsuki to the door. Hey, Ka. Yuri really is something, isn't she? Monica giggles as Yuri pushes her out the door. The sound. There's never been sound like this. Oh. Okay, finally. Finally. This is really all I wanted. Ka, there's no need to spend the weekend with Monica. Don't listen to her. Just come to my house instead. I do not- I'd like to keep my life. I prefer not to. <laughs> the whole day with just the two of us. Doesn't that sound wonderful? <laughs> wow, that's- there's really something wrong with me, isn't there? But you know what? I don't care anymore. I've never felt this good in my whole life. Just being with you is a far greater pleasure than anything I can imagine. I'm addicted to you. It feels like I'm gonna die if I'm not breathing the same air as you. Oh my god, stop. See, I would say this is cringe, but it's not. This is a little scary. Cause I'm not cringing at all right now. Doesn't it feel nice to have someone care about you so much? That sure, bro. Absolutely. To have someone who wants to revolve their entire life around you. Okay, but it feels so good. Why does it feel like more and more like something horrible is gonna happen? Yeah, I feel it too. Don't worry. I got chills. Maybe that's why I tried stopping myself at first. But the feeling is too strong now. I don't care anymore, cuz. I have to tell you. Okay. I don't want to read that sentence out loud, but for the sake of the plot. I'm, I'm madly in love with you. It feels like every inch of my body, every drop of blood in me is screaming your name. Oh my god, stop. I don't care what the consequences are anymore. I don't care if Monica is listening. Please, cuz, just know how much I love you. You're probably dead, not gonna lie. Monica's gonna kill you. I love you so much that I even touched myself with a pen I stole from you. Yeah, I kind of realized that in the last episode. I just didn't want to fucking say it out loud. 
but she said it for me. Oh my god. I just want to pull your skin open and crawl inside of you. I want you all to myself, and I will be only yours. Doesn't that sound perfect? Tell me, Ka. Tell me you want to be my lover. Do you accept my confession? <laughs> I should have saved the game. Oh my god, fuck. I already said I'm, I already said I'm locked in, so... I'm locked. I'm not backing down. I'm not backing down. Fuck, dude. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm dead. I'm dead. <gasps> dude. What the fuck? Oh my Jesus. Lovecraftian levels of fucking... Right, like, I don't even know, dude. Holy shit. Is she just... That's Monica, obviously. This, this is Monica. I want to spam through it, but I'm also afraid that some text is going to pop up that I need to see. Yeah, I've never played. I've never played a game like this. Like, ever. This is just crazy. Is this, this the end? I'm just, I've, ch I've got chills this entire time, by the way. This literally through the entire... This entire segment. <laughs> Pins and needles in my fucking body. I'm, I'm just locked in. I'm just focused. I fucking... I like the pressure, so, you know. So while I'm clicking through this, I want to make predictions of what's going to happen next. If there is a next. If we're going to say, like, all the same pattern as what happened with Sayori, I think it's just going to be Natsuki and Monica, I think. And then we're going to have to choose between them. I'm choosing Natsuki. She's, she, she, somehow she got even more real in this in this entire scenario. That makes no sense to me, because I thought she was just stupid. What the fuck is going Like, it's just back to normal? So they never came back in the classroom. I think that's like a whole day just passed. All right, so I just, I just looked it up. I only, I only read that like the time limit, like the time frame. So it goes through three days. So I was right about like seeing a day passing. So we went through one day already. All right, so this is day three. Look at it. Look at she getting more pale. Is that just me or she like actually like getting more like dead? Oh, here we go. All right, it's festival time. Wow, you got here before me. I thought I was pretty. Yeah. Finally. Oh my God. So I, I sat here for the whole weekend? Are we... Did I, why did I stay here? Natsuki runs away. Monica, she, I bet she can, she's not even gonna fucking watch. She's not gonna even bat an eye. She's gonna be like, I told you, you nigga. I'm here. Cut, did something happen? Natsuki just ran past me. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, that's a shame. Like I... <laughs> Yo... Wait, were you here the entire weekend? I knew it. Okay, See, my, my theory. Okay, theory is going pretty good so far. Oh jeez, I didn't realize the script was broken that badly. Is this the writer of the game? <laughs> like, what's happening? I actually I read like the Steam description yesterday, and I think that is the case too. So it's just like more pieces are clicking together, but it's just crazy. I'm super sorry. It must have been pretty boring. I'll make it up to you. Okay, just give me a sec. No! Oh my god. I'm almost done. I just want to have a cupcake real quick. Monica lists the flow from Edersh Trey takes a cupcake. So that should have said Natsuki, I'm guessing. Seriously, these are the best. I really just had to have one since the last time I ever get the chance to. You know, before they stop existing and everything. Holy shit. Wow, dude, I fuck with this. This is so weird. But anyway, or but anyway, I really shouldn't be making you wait any longer. Just bear with me, okay? This should only take a second. Holy fuck. Ew. Uh, can you hear me? Is it working? <laughs> oh my god. Yay, there you are. Hi again, cuh. Um, welcome to the literature club. Of course, we already know each other because... We were in the same class last year, and, um, <laughs> you know, I guess we can just skip over that stuff at this point. After all, I'm not even talking to that person anymore, am I? That you in the game, whatever you want to call him, I'm talking to you. Okay, dude. <laughs> like I said, this she's a fucking Lovecraftian ass entity breaking the fourth wall. She, like, I can't, <laughs> like, okay, dude. Now that I think about it, I don't really know anything about the real you. Yeah, you never will. In fact, I don't even know if you're a boy or a girl. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Wait. 
you don't aware that this is all a game, right? Could it be possible that you didn't know that? No, I knew. That doesn't make much sense. I even told you right on the game's download page, didn't I? You sure did. Man, if only you had paid a little more attention, this would have been a little bit less awkward, you know? Well, anyway, now that that's out of the way, I guess I owe you an explanation about that whole thing with Yuri. Well, I kind of started to mess with her, and I guess it just drove her to kill her, so... Yeah, I... Yeah. Ah, uh, I'm sorry you had to see that, though. Also, the same thing happened with Sayori. Yeah, fuck you for that one. That's, I think that's the one I care about the most, because she didn't do anything. Like, anything wrong. Gosh, it's been a while since you've heard that name now, hasn't it? Yeah, it's because she doesn't exist anymore. Nobody does. I deleted all their files. I was hoping it would be enough for me to just try to make them as unlikable as possible. But for some reason, nothing worked. Well, it's true that I made a few mistakes here and there, since I'm not very good at making changes to the game. But no matter what I did, you just kept spending more time and more time with them. You made, me, you made them fall in love with you. I thought making Sarah more and more depressed would prevent her from confessing to you, and amplifying Yuri's obsessive personality backfired too. It just made her force you not to spend time with anyone else. And that the whole time, I barely even got to talk to you. What kind of cruel game is this, cuh? Are all the other girls just programmed to end up confessing to you while I watch from the sidelines? It's torture. So now she's a victim. Like, fuck, gaslighting. The gaslight of hell. Every minute of it. And it's not just jealousy, cuh. It's more than that. And I don't blame you if you don't fully understand shit. Because no matter how kind and thoughtful and considerate you are, you'll never be able to understand one thing. It's the pain of knowing how alone I really am in this world. In this game. Knowing my friends don't even have free will. And worst of all, knowing what's really out there in your world, forever out of my reach. This is crazy. This is like when they, when an NPC realizes they're in a game. Like, in like GTA or some shit. And they're like, I'm trapped, cuh. But now you're here. You're real. And you're wonderful. You're all I need. Okay. That's why I need you to be here with me forever. I'm sorry if it's hard to understand. I couldn't understand for a while e either. While the world around me started to become more and more gray. More and more flat. Even the most expressive poems felt empty to me. It wasn't until you arrived that I truly understood. You probably saved my life, cuh. I don't think I could have continued to live in this world if I hadn't met you. And as for the others, how could I miss them? A group of autonomous personalities designed only to fall in love with you? I tried everything I could to prevent them from doing so. But if it must be some kind of weird inevitability etched into this game. If it were really bad that you had to witness some nasty things. But I realized that you have the same perspective as I do. That's it. All It's all just a game. And I knew you would get over it. So, that being said, Ka, I have a confession to make. Oh my god. And I'm gonna say no to it. I'm in love with you. <laughs> you are truly the light of my world. When there's nothing else in this game for me, you're here to make me smile. Will you let me smile like this every day from now on? Ka, will you go out with me? And of course, there's no answer but yes. Fuck you. I, was, I wanna say no, bro. Can I say, can I just exit game? <laughs> the script is broken at this point, so I don't think anything will get in the way anymore. And you wouldn't believe how easy it was to delete Natsuki and Yuri. I mean, there's a folder called characters right in the game directory. It kind of freaked me out how easy it was. Well, you're playing on Steam, so it was actually a bit more difficult. To get to the game directory, I had to go into the game's properties and find the browse local files button. Imagine if you could delete your own existence with the one click of a button. What if I delete you, Monica? Well, I guess on the plus side, it gave me an easy out of things. Didn't go my way. Ah, <laughs> thankfully it didn't come to that. Instead, we finally got a good ending. This is a terrible ending. Gosh, I'm so overwhelmed with emotion. Not like Yuri. I want to write a poem about this. Don't you? I wonder if that part of the game still works. I guess there's only one way to find out, right? Wow. This is so weird. I, I like it, though. I fucking love this shit. I love shit like this. <laughs> Ain't it? Oi. Oi, uh. Ah. Uh. Snick. Nit. What is this? Hey, fill in the blank. <laughs> Nicka. What did you just call me? Hi again, cuh. Did you write a good poem today? Don't be shy. I'd love to see what you wrote. Ah, cuh. Did you write this poem for me? That's so sweet of you. I didn't have a choice. There really is no end to your thoughtfulness. I'm just falling more and more in love with you. But you know. The poem I wrote is also for you. Will you please read it? Oh, fuck. What is it going to say to me? Happy end. Bro, how? Hand in hand, I find my strength. The courage endowed upon me by my one and only love. Together, let us dismantle this crumbling world and write a novel of our own fantasies. With the flick of her pen, the lost finds her way. In a world of infinite choices, behold this special day. After all, 
not all good times must come to an end. Your ass poem. I hope you enjoyed it. I always put all my heart into the poems that I write. The truth is, all the poems I've written have been out about my realization. Oh, she's talking about I fucking I found my way out and shit. We're deleting her. She's got look. She's the only one. How does she do that? In game. Shit. See it. What the? Oh. She's gone, bro. Oh my god. What's happening? Cub, what's happening to me? It hurts. Yeah, you're gone. Now it's just me, bitch. It hurts so much. Help me, cub. Regular show simulator? Please hurry and help me. Help me! Yeah, you're gone. Holy shit. Did you do this to me, cub? Did you? Did you delete me? Holy shit. <laughs> Fuck, okay. How could you? How could you do this to me? You were all I had left. I sacrificed everything for us to be together. Shit, did I ask? Everything. I'm not reading that. I trusted you. Do you just want to torture me? Watch me suffer? Well, I mean, you don't exist anymore, so I can't watch anything. Were you only pretending to be kind just to hurt me even more? I never thought anyone could be as horrible as you are. You win, okay? You win. You killed everyone. I hope you're happy. There's nothing left now. Gaslighting. How did I kill? I didn't kill shit. You could stop playing. Go find some other people to torture. Holy shit. Cuh. You completely truly make me sick. <laughs> Goodbye. That's Surely that's not it, right? Surely not? Yep. Yeah. Shit. I still love you. I can't help it. What's wrong with me? How horrible am I for you to hate me this much? All my friends. I did so many awful things. So many selfish and disgusting things. I... I shouldn't have done any of this. I'm just messing up a world that I don't even belong in. A world that you wanted to be a part of. I ruined it. I ruined everything. Maybe that's why you deleted me. Because I destroyed everything that you wanted. How could I do that to someone I love? Ugh. That's not love. That's... You can say it. You said it about Yuri. You can say it. I've made up my mind. Cuh. I know I said that I deleted everyone else. But that was kind of an exaggeration. I couldn't find it in myself to do it. Even though I knew they weren't real, they were still my friends. And I love them all. And I love the literature club. I really did love the literature club. That's why I'm going to do this. He's gonna restate the game, huh? I know it's the only way for everyone to be happy. And if I really love you, ugh. I can't read that shit out loud. Then, they're like, so we're, I'm guessing we're about to be back to normal? Wow. You got chills. Bro. Can I play this? I mean, at least Sawori's back. I'm excited for that. New game. It's an ordinary school day like any other. As usual, I'm surrounded by couples and friend groups walking to school together. I always tell myself it's about time to meet some girls or something like that. Oh! <gasps> He's back! I fuck with Sayori. Hey, cuh. Well, there's already is one girl. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friends since we were children. We used to walk to school together every day. And recently we picked up the habit once again. You proud of me? For what? You know. For waking up on time. Well, you've been doing that for a while now. Uh-huh. But you never said anything about it. Even though we walk to school together every day. Well, yeah. I always thought it was implied. It's embarrassing to say out loud. Come on, please. This is good motivation. Fine, fine. I'm proud of you, Sayori. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with our other students making their daily commute. By the way, Cuh, have you started on the club? Okay, so this is from the jump without Monica? A club? I told you already, already, I'm really not. I started to say what I always do, that I'm not interested in joining any clubs. But something tells me Sayori would make, or would take more offense to that now. After all, how could I tell her that clubs are a waste of time when she's starting a club of her very own? Actually, yeah. I think I've decided on the club. Really? What you want to tell me? Hmm. I think I'll keep it a surprise. Boo. You meanie. <laughs> Be patient, you'll find out soon enough. I used to ask myself why I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl. But I started to realize that in a way I envy her. 
when Sayori puts her mind on something, she can accomplish great things. So that's why I feel like I should do something special for her. The school day is as ordinary as ever and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stand up gathering my motivation. Let's see. I recall the room over the club from a flyer I saw. I walk across the school and upstairs a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Before long, I find the room. I timidly open the door in front of me. Hello? Ah! Huh? What are you doing here? Well, I just... I glance around the room. Huh? Oh, Natsuki's back? Huh? So you're the cut that story's always talking about. Yuri too? See, I don't... I can't help but not... I mean, I guess Monica was fucking with it. Thank you for stopping by. It's a pleasure to meet you, Ka. With the Literature Club. I hope you enjoy your visit. Come on, Yuri. No need to be so formal. He's gonna think we're really strict or something. Ah. Sorry, Natsuki. The tall one whose name is apparently Yuri seems to be quite shy compared to the others. In comparison, the girl named Natsuki, despite her size, seems like the assertive one. It's Sundere. <laughs> it's Sundere. Well, it's, well, it's nice to meet both of you. I look forward to working with you. Working? Oh, don't tell me. You're... That's right. The club I decided to join is your salary. That, see, that makes me feel good, bro. That's heartwarming. That's very heartwarming after what we just witnessed. The literature club. Cyrus' eyes light up. No way. No way. Ah! Cyrus wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey. <laughs> well, if Cyrus is this happy, then I'm sure it won't be so bad to have you around. Not to mention there's four of us now. It means we could become an officially recognized club. I don't know what to say. We have to celebrate. Ooh. <laughs> what an appropriate day for that, isn't it? Yeah. After all, Natsuki decided to... Hey, don't ruin the surprise. <laughs> Sorry. Everyone sit down at the table, okay? How about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the counter of the room, the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da. Whoa! Natsuki looks to pull out the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute. Wow, those look amazing, cuh. <laughs> well, you know. Just hurry and take one. Sayori grabs one first and I follow. It's delicious. Sayori talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around on my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki's quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it or so. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Well, well, of course it is. I'm a pro after all. There's no need to thank me or anything. As Natsuki struggles to accept the compliment, Yuri returns to the table to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in the classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Ah, uh, I guess. <laughs> Are trying to, already trying to impress a new member, Yuri? It's not it. Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know, I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pass on for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Soka, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh, considering how little I've read the past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga. I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki said suddenly perks up. Looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. No, not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I'm not going on this path again. I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Well, what is she gonna say this time? I'm, I'm actually really curious. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that, okay, so we're back to normal. Novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Don't feel intimidated if you don't read much, okay? I'm certain we can find something that we have in common. Hey, Yuri. Hmm? Well, about, you know, the first thing he said. Manga? That's right. Natsuki tends to read manga in the club room. Th don't just say that. For some reason, Natsuki seems embarrassed about it. Besides, manga is literature too, you know. So if Ko wants to read some of my manga, they don't try to stop or anything. This isn't in the, the original, is it? 
This is new. Natsuki. I wouldn't do such a thing. However, it could be not also be nice for us to diversify ourselves a little. You could take this opportunity to try something new as well. Wouldn't you agree, Ka? But maybe. Sensing the tension, Sayori jumps in. Thank you. This is why I'm fucking with Sayori. The, I don't care about anybody else. Sayori's the only real one. Like, goodness gracious. Like, I don't fuck with anybody else. I'm not fucking with anybody else, bro. Ever. <laughs> After what just happened. Maybe we can all try something new. I think it could be fun. We'll all get to know each other a little bit better, too. I mean, that's the kind of literature club, or thing literature clubs do, right? I don't disagree or anything. Yeah, you're right as usual, president. <laughs> Guess that means I should try picking up a novel or something, huh? Well, that would make two of us. I wouldn't mind doing it if I'm not the only one. Then, then as for Yuri, eh? I have to read manga? Jeez. You're the one who suggested we diversify. You should be a little more open-minded. It's kind of hurtful. Hurtful? I didn't realize. With a guilty expression, Yuri thinks to herself. I'm sorry for disrespecting your interest, Natsuki. If you're into it, then I'm sure it's a worthy form of literature. Are you just saying that? No. I've realized my error. So if you're willing to consider starting a novel, then I'll offer my gratitude by finding a manga to read as well. Really? I mean, <laughs> makes me happy that you do that for me, Yuri. You can trust me to find something that you really like, okay? Same here, Ka. Perhaps I'll visit the bookstore after the club meeting. Just, just you? Ah, would you like to come along with me? Um, if you don't mind. Not at all. I always go alone, so. Yeah, me too. <laughs> this is so cute. <laughs> Sorry, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'll show you some mega there too, okay? Yeah, I look forward to it. Natsuki and Yuri start to clean up the food. <laughs> I guess the meeting's over, huh? Yeah, it looks like it. It's nice to see everyone getting along, isn't it? I think everyone likes you too, Ka. You think so? Well, everyone always seems to get along a little better with you around, Sayori. Aw, oh, Ka. Don't say something like that, it's embarrassing. But whatever. I was surprised when you told me you were starting a club. But I think you're pulling it off just fine. We're gonna make it the best club ever. Now that you join, every day is gonna be so much fun. Hey, Ka. Is something bad about to happen? I'm scared. I really wanna thank you. I mean, I'm really happy that you joined the club and everything. But the truth is, I already knew you were going to. This is, don't tell me this is Monica. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> There's actually something else. Oh my God. This is, this has, to, wait, hold up, wait, wait, wait. I wanted to thank you for getting rid of Monica. That's right. I know everything that she did. Maybe it's because I'm the president now, but I really know everything, cuz. <laughs> I know how hard you try to make everyone happy. I know about all of the awful things Monica did to make everyone really sad. None of that matters anymore. It's just us now. No! And you may be the happiest girl in the world. Okay. This isn't here. This is not Sayori. I can't wait to spend every day like this with you. Forever and ever. But F O R E V E. No? Okay. Eh? What's happening? I won't let you hurt him. Whoa, this is this is Monica, isn't it? It hurts. Ah, I'm sorry I was wrong. What the fuck? This is this is Mo this is actually Monica. There's no happiness here after all. Goodbye, Sayori. Goodbye, Ka. Goodbye, Literature Club. Is better like uninstall the game for my system or something? Oh nah. I just got chills. Yeah. Uh, can you hear me? <clears throat> Hi, it's me. Um. Is this the creator so, of the game? You know, I've been like practicing piano and stuff, and not really Bro. any good at it yet, like at all. But I wrote you a song. Oh my god. And I was kind of hoping that I could show it to you because I worked really. Really hard on it. So yeah. Oh my god. Full circle. Yo, this game is so good. Oh my god. How do you go from the cringe as fuck wait? I imagine a future where I can be with you. Okay, bro. Alright.
special day whoa bro yeah this is such a good game dude so good bro oh my god oh my wait is this actually deleting my games like our files This is like a happy ending. What the fuck is that? <laughs> what was that? What was that picture I just saw? What the fuck? Illegal ass picture. <laughs> Does my pen only write bitter words for those okay. who are dear to me? Good God. Is it wrong if I take you? Oh. Is it love if I set you free? Oh my god. That's my favorite part of the game. Before it, that, that bullshit happened, this part right here, my favorite part. Now it's gone. I bet. What the fuck is happening? Oh my goodness. Holy fuck. Team Salvato, y'all, y'all ate, y'all cooked. Michelin star levels of cooking, then they ate it up with no crumbs, bro. Holy fuck! This is my final goodbye to the literature club. I finally understand the literature club is truly a place where no happiness can be found. To the very end, it continued to expose innocent minds to a horrific reality, a reality that our world is not designed to comprehend. I can't let any of my friends undergo that same hellish epiphany. For the time it lasted, I want to thank you for making all of my dreams come true, for being a friend to all of the club members. And most of all, thank you for being a part of my literature club. With everlasting love, Monica. Oh, wait, is it actually gone? Like, actually? Oh, that's just it. It's actually done. All right, y'all, that game is so good. How did it go from like the cringiest shit I have ever played, like ever in my life, to one of the best games I've ever played ever? What the fuck? Like, shit, that's so good. I wanna play another game like this just without the cringe part, but you know. But as as usual, I appreciate y'all's support. Appreciate all the feedback I've been getting on the videos. It's been pretty cool and stuff. Uh, I appreciate y'all watching, appreciate like likes, everything. Uh, please like and subscribe if you want to, and I will catch you on the next one. Peace.